How's it going today guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to have you guys join me today because today is a very interesting day. Mainly because within 24 hours we're going to be looking at Gamescom and there's going to be some very interesting games being revealed and the main one that we're very much focused on is going to be Spider-Man 2. With that said, today is going to be a little bit of a different day. We're just going to be talking about Spider-Man. I did say in my last video that I'm going to be reading you guys' comments um respond to them and see what you guys thought about the theories that we made and uh, maybe respond to it because a lot of you left some really cool comments if we're lucky tomorrow we may see some things come true maybe some stuff i thought maybe some stuff you guys thought and we're going to review that of course before we dive on in though i am doing a giveaway for spider-man 2 if you're interested in getting your hands on a free copy of spider-man all you have to do is leave a like comment as well as subscribe to the channel and that's pretty much all you have to do you're entered into getting a chance to win spider-man 2 also if you want a second chance of possibly winning a game copy stick around to the end of the video to find out the second way now the first comment is from doom guy slayer of demon 6191 really good name and this comment is in direct relation to the fact that I said that Spider-Man is going to chase Mary Jane. And in this footage, we see Spider-Man kind of chasing her and Mary Jane is running away. And I predicted that Spider-Man is angry at her for some reason. This comment says it could be a case of misdirection where Peter is chasing someone else and MJ is hiding from the person or the thing that Peter is chasing. Even with the suit, I don't think he would try to hurt her. That seems like the most logical explanation to me anyway. Now that is actually a really good comment, Doom Guy. It's very common for Insomniac to misdirect it. It does look like they are painting a picture that, you know, she is running away from Peter. But logically, if we really think about it, is Spider-Man really getting fooled by her walking around the corner and just hiding there? Probably not, right? He's probably capable of detecting Mary Jane's movement. So there's a good chance that she's running away from the fight rather than running away from Spider-Man. With that said, I do think that there needs to be something to tip Peter over to move past the Black Venom suit. And that's going to be something in the game that we haven't seen probably in the cutscenes, which is going to be a very interesting thing. I definitely think you got it down, Doom Guy Slayer. Great prediction and we'll definitely have to see. Now the next one is from Zachary Krause 7741 and this is direct response to the fact that I said that Norman is going to be the Venom and the comment reads yeah I've thought this from the beginning give us everything we need a surprise Venom Craven still being Craven a Green Goblin being Harry in the next game quite frankly I can't buy into Harry being a villain yet simply because we don't know anything about him so yeah a lot to digest in this comment but yes Insomniac did say that there was going to be a surprise Venom that we never seen before and Norman would fit into that role so that's absolutely correct um Craven in my opinion has to remain Craven because I do think he has a bigger role not necessarily in this game but maybe in a DLC or in a future game um but changing him to Venom probably wouldn't be the wisest I think he has a lot of um benefits to bring to the game other than just turning into venom so yeah that makes sense in response to the fact that you say you can't buy into harry being a villain yet absolutely i agree um if you look at a lot of the footage that we see in the game at least in the trailers there is looking like it's going to be a lot of like development on harry's part like he's talking to peter in the first trailer and then he's being introduced to his other friends i do feel like they're actually setting up for green goblin because Again, we're seeing a lot of character development for Harry. And I expect in this Spider-Man that we're going to see a lot more development of Harry's character. So that whenever he does inevitably call, become the Goblin, uh, we're going to maybe care a little bit more. Because right now we don't really, I don't know, at least to me when we played Spider-Man 1, we didn't really see much of Harry. And we didn't really get to know the character. And it's not really going to affect us if we don't know much about him when Spider-Man 3 comes around. And it's the Green Goblin. But yeah, I think this is going to be a perfect setup to actually get to know Harry. And whatever the events may be, inevitably Green Goblin is going to be in the next one in my opinion. With that said, there were a few comments that didn't agree. And this one is from Roblox RP Center. I mostly think it's going to be Harry because they wouldn't tease Harry for two games just for him to be a side character and not be a villain. Plus Venom talks to his host inside their brain and Venom possibly wants to spread the symbiote across the city. That is a great angle. Now I did say that Harry's father Norman was going to be the one in Venom suit and he want to heal the world but there is a very likely a good chance that venom himself wants to heal the world and the heal the world doesn't necessarily mean actually help it it could mean 
remake the world in their image and you know that could be a really good angle also yeah i don't think harry will be a side character i absolutely agree i think harry like i said in the previous one is going to definitely be um, a main character very likely an antagonist i think he's going to become the new goblin i think that would be a great role for him and i think once we get a little bit more character development for harry it's going to really make a big difference when it becomes uh when he becomes goblin in spider-man 3. all right on to our final comment and this one's going to be from a random guy 8614 he says it could be eddie brock and insomniac is lying you know this is actually an interesting comment because for a minute i did think that but the thing with insomniac is some of the people there who work there they are not really liars from what i can tell they don't actively lie they're really honest and um when it comes to eddie brock i do think he's in the story i know he's in the story but they are saying that this iteration of venom in this game isn't going to necessarily be eddie brock so I do think Eddie Brock will be in the game, but I don't think it's going to be Venom, at least initially. Another thing is from a PR perspective, usually games don't outright lie like this. They will maybe do a little bit of misdirection. But if it's like Eddie Brock isn't in the game and he's not going to be like the main Venom, they could just straight up ignore it and not necessarily say something about it, if that makes sense. Still, you could be completely right, random guy. They could very well just straight up lie. I hope that they don't, but we will have to see. But again, great comment i love when you guys comment like this and you know leave your insights because you never know it may happen with that said guys we did not get a ton of comments but again if you guys do have any comments not necessarily just with the video but just any theories anything like that we'll probably read them sometime later on this week i'd love to hear what you guys' thoughts and theories on spider-man as we wait until we get there i know i'm excited to jump in and finally play the game so you know these theories keep me going and whatnot you know so yeah i love you guys' comments keep leaving them and yeah we'll read them on the screen and talk about it i think it's going to be really telling what we see tomorrow for spider-man and i will be posting trailers as well as anything we see so you guys can stop by and uh, check it out so do consider subscribing and the final thing with the giveaway if you want to give a second chance to possibly win the giveaway there will be a link in the description for you to fill out so that you can have a second chance for a game copy of spider-man 2. with that said guys i really appreciate you stopping by and checking out the content and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon later